Good morning, Clay. I'm Mr. Smith, and I'm here with your Clay Classic News. Oh, I know. You're wondering how we're going to do this. Hey, just because we've gone virtual doesn't mean we've lost touch. We've got reporters all across this city who are ready to report in and share a little bit about what's going on in their world. So like a normal Friday, we hope you'll enjoy the Clay Classic News. And just one business item, I'd like to encourage all of you to make sure you're checking your Canvas inboxes. We have found that some students haven't been checking those as regularly as perhaps they need, and your teachers are continuing to send out very important information. So please make sure you do that. And now, to the rest of our reporters throughout Carmel. Good morning, Clay Nation. It's good to see everybody again. Um, I guess I'll first start off by saying uh, we miss seeing you each and every day. Um, we miss seeing uh, your faces in the building. And um, today is all about uh, compliments. And that's kind of the theme, the focus, and how we're going to uh, move forward together um, through this, uh, this unprecedented time period. Um, I first of all would like to start out uh, this, this morning announcements um, with our greatness quote for the week. Greatness quote for the week is take action. An inch of movement will bring you closer to your goals than a mile of intention. Steve Mayer Boley. Once again, our greatness quote for this week is take action. An inch of movement will bring you closer to your goals than a mile of intention. Steve Mayer Boley. Well, like I stated before, first of all, uh, you know, miss seeing everybody. I uh, would like to start off by um, paying a compliment to you as students, um, your parents for their devoted educate uh, support for your education, um, our teachers. Um, it is truly taking a, a team effort for all of us to maneuver through, uh, maneuver through this virtual learning phase that we're in. Um, I want to thank uh, you as students for everything that you've been working on um, as per your teacher has uh, requested for you. Um, would also like to thank your parents uh, for all of their support with your continued education and being there to support you as you're going through this, this different style of learning and this different educational phase. Uh, but I also would like to take a minute to thank our teachers. Our teachers have been working uh, uh, very, very hard, um, putting a lot of effort um, into this virtual learning to make sure that uh, students, uh, your experience remains uh, engaging and meaningful, and I want to thank them for that. Um, obviously, as we look forward, um, this is something that we have not mastered. Uh, virtual learning is something we're still all learning, and it's pushing our learning curves. It's pushing our learning curves from adults um, all the way to our students, um, but together we will get through this and we will do our very, very best. The one thing that I can assure you over the last week uh, that I have been observing uh, through just Canvas instruction and talking with our leaders in the buildings um, is that uh, very, very impressed with, uh, with just the amount of collaboration that's going on. Teachers helping each other, uh, teachers supporting students, uh, students asking questions through social media, and uh, all of us working together to do our very, very best at this time. Um, which leads me to kind of the next uh, point I'd like to make, the power of hour. Um, when we talk about the power of hour, that, uh, that word hour is, is critical. Um, when I'm talking about that, I mean our students, um, our parents, our teachers and support staff, um, our community, um, our country, and even our world. Um, given the current situation, um, we continue to get updates each and every day about the COVID-19 uh, virus uh, and just the impact that it's having on how we do everyday business. Um, but keep in mind, you keep hearing this on social media, on TV, um, through the news, is that we will get through this together. Um, and, you know, rest assured, we will do that. Um, so the one thing I would like to challenge you with today before leaving is um, earlier this week on Monday, um, I sent a video to our staff entitled Mindful Minute with Murphy. Murphy is, uh, is our Bernie's mountain dog. He's three years old and he loves people and he loves interacting with people. Um, so him and I have been uh, making a couple videos for our staff and we challenge him on something each and every week. I'd like to pass the challenge on to you as a student body um, to pay a compliment. Um, you can do this through uh, social media, 
You can do it through uh, through Twitter. You can do it through Instagram, Facebook, or whatever other social media platform you choose to use. Um, if you do use Twitter, um, I ask that you use the hashtag CCS goes virtual. And also, um, I would like to encourage all students and their parents to begin to follow Clay Trojans on Twitter at Clay Trojans. Hashtag Clay Greatness. Um, so once again, um, I challenge you this week um, to reach out to one of those first responders. Anybody that has been doing heroic work during this time, um, including your teachers, um, but this could be anybody in the medical field, um, it could be anybody in the community, it could be anybody as simple as somebody that's stocking, stocking shelves in a grocery store to make sure we have everything we need. So um, with that, I leave you with that challenge. Take a minute to pay a compliment. Um, a compliment goes very, very far, and it's such a little thing. Um, so once again, I'm very, very proud of all of you for everything that's going on out there. Um, I'm very, very proud to be the principal of Clay Middle School. And just, uh, just um, until we see each other again, um, I want to wish uh, everyone well. Um, if you need anything at all, please do not hesitate to reach out. And last but not least, make sure we stay great, Clay. Have a good day. I have seen baseball games in 15 different Major League Baseball parks. Several years ago, um, I backpacked through Europe, through Ireland, Scotland, Wales, England, France, and Italy, all by myself with just a backpack. So I lived out of a backpack for two months, and when all my clothes got dirty, I had to find a sink and, and wash them. And so uh, that's an interesting fact about me. I hope your day finds you all in good spirits. Have a good day. Hola, everyone. Senora Carter here. During this e-learning time, I've discovered that I, too, have a hidden talent. Check it out. What's your talent? Hey Clay Nation and happy Friday. I hope you are doing really well. But today I have a riddle for all of you. Why did the math book look so sad? Do you think you're too old for sidewalk chalk because you're in middle school? Well, I'm afraid you're sadly mistaken. Now, we are stuck at home, but that doesn't mean we can't go outside. We are going to take a fourth cup of water, some cornstarch, and some food coloring, and a, and a bowl, and a mixing material, and we are going to make some sidewalk chalk paint. Now put about a fourth cup cornstarch into your bowl. And then after you've done that, put about a fourth cup of water into your bowl. And then put five to seven drops of your food coloring into your bowl. And it should look, after you mix it, it should look something like this. Now, once you have it looking like this, you're going to take a paintbrush and you are going to take it out to some sidewalk. See, it works just like chalk, except easier. Any age group can play with it. 
and it's safe to eat if somebody's pet or younger sibling were to accidentally eat it. Thanks for watching! Did you get the answer to my riddle? I hope you did. Well, because it had so many problems. Hi, this is my dog Hershey, and he really likes to play ball. And and he can catch a ball pretty good. So, yeah. Woo. Yay. This is Bear. He's 11 years old and he's a mix between a Yorkie, a Dachshund, and a Cocker Spaniel. He's going to show you some of his tricks. Hello. This is Max Morans. He's gonna show you guys some tricks. Come here. All right, sit. Down, down, down. Up. Sit. Maxie, sit. Shake. Yeah, good boy. You're a good boy. This is fun things to do while you're stuck inside. You could do some yoga classes online. Be the tree. Be one with the tree. You can make some TikToks. Make a puzzle just like us. Oh look, I got a piece. You could ride a ripstick or bicycle or skateboard. You can make a fort. You could make some healthy food. Bon appetit. You could play board games. That's what you can do in your house. Yeah. The English word has three consecutive double letters. my bookshelf I like hung in my library and basically I'm just sitting in my pajamas in the only clean part of my room to talk about some of the books I really enjoyed so the first book is I will always write back this is a really great story it tells the story of an American girl who starts writing to a boy in Zimbabwe as a school project but then she keeps writing to him because they form this really great friendship and she gets to know more about the world outside of the little like suburb that she lives in and he gets to know more about the world outside of where he lives in so it's really eye-opening for both of them and it's really great to see all the character development what's also really great about it is it's actually a true story and two of the three authors are actually the girl and the boy so you can actually know that they eventually meet in person and it's just a great story overall because there's lots of character de development and i really really recommend this <laughs> Bookkeeper. Hello, my name's Alex, and I'm here to get you through quarantine. Here are five things you can do to pass time. The first one is sleeping. I do this all the time. It's great for passing the time and so much fun. Next up is gaming. Gaming is so fun. I do this so much with my friends. It's a great way to socialize. Here's an epic Minecraft clip of me having so much fun. I mean, like, look at that face. That is the face of enjoyment right there. The next one up is eating. I do this one so much, and you should too. It's so fun. This one is hanging out with your friends, but because of the coronavirus, you have to practice social distancing, which is six feet. And so here I have my friend that's definitely not a fan in a sweatshirt. We're playing video games together. So much fun. 
Last, but certainly not least, working out. As you can see by my bulky arms, I've been doing this every day in quarantine. Here is me doing 20 pound weights, almost doing 20 pounds weights. Here I'm going to my normal three pounds, very hard, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching on my five things to do while in quarantine. Now enjoy it and stay safe. While camels are commonly associated with the Middle East, they're actually native to Australia. The term quiet as a mouse is relatively inaccurate considering the fact that mice are almost always making noise. It's just too high for humans to hear. Tyrannophobia is the irrational fear of being tickled by feathers. Welcome to Did You Know, Food Facts Edition. Now that the Three Musketeers candy bar originally had vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate all in one bar, did you know that even though Fruit Loops are all different colors, they are the same flavor? The most expensive pizza in the world costs $12,000 and takes 72 hours to make. Did you know that popsicles are made by accident? An 11 year old kid in 1905 made a soda and water mixture and he left it outside overnight. The next morning, it was frozen and then that's when the popsicle was invented. Did you know that Mountain Dew actually contains orange juice? Hope you learned something new, and did you know? Friday, March 27th is National Scribble Day. Friday, March 27th is National Scribble Day. Today is National Scribble Day, so have fun and create something new. Saturday, March 28th is National Food on a Stick Day. This includes anything from meat to popsicles. Saturday is National Black Forest Cake Day. Make sure to eat some cake with your family. Saturday, March 28th is National Black Forest Cake Day. Sunday, March 29th is National Nevada Day. Sunday is National Vietnam War Veterans Day. On this day, we honor the men and women who served during the longest conflict in United States history. Monday, March 30th is National Doctors' Day. Monday, March 30th is National Pencil Day. Monday is National Take a Walk in the Park Day. She's not really a walker. March 31st is National Crayon Day. Tuesday is National Crayon Day. Tuesday, March 31st is National Prom Day. And finally, April 1st is April Fool's Day, so feel free to play as many pranks on your parents or siblings as you want. Wednesday is National Sourdough Bread Day. And lastly, Thursday is National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. Make sure to celebrate all these national holidays.
today's word of the day is canard. Canard means a false or unfounded report or story, or a groundless rumor or belief. So basically, it's a made-up story. So how do we use this in a sentence? Um, an example would be, the police dismissed the eyewitness's story as a mere canard. Canard is also a type of airplane that has a duck-like appearance, and this originates from the French word canard, meaning duck. The word of the day is collywobble. It means to have stomach pain or queasiness. Collywobble. Oh, yo, dude, what's up? Yo, Cole, what's up, dude? Dude, you'll never guess the word of the day that I just heard. Wait, what is it? It's hippopotamonstrositis quipidaliophobia. Dude, there is absolutely no way I have that. Really? No way, dude, that's insane. You've seriously never heard about it? Yeah, yeah, I just learned about it today. Well, I mean, now you know. Well... Can you use it in a sentence? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Okay, here's a sentence. Here goes. I have hippopomonstrosis quipidaliophobia, and so please don't show me any long words. How's that? Oh, yo, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, I gotta do go do some homework now. See you, man. Okay, see you, man. We'd also like to extend a very happy birthday to everybody who had a birthday this week. And we hope that you all have a great and wonderful weekend. This is Mr. Smith signing off with this week's edition of Clay Classic News.